Good evening, and here's our top story. California's First Lady Maria Shriver apologized Wednesday for talking on her cell phone while driving. The incident is officially the 1,872nd worst thing that's ever happened to a Kennedy in a car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, we've got a live show, a live show happening. Very nice. Kipley Brown, Matt Harris, Cosmo Coenga on Entertainment, other stuff, and news from around the world. Tell us what this is, me. This is Top Story Week. Bye. President Obama announced that he wants to send checks for $250 to over 57 million American seniors. It's all part of Obama's plan to stimulate the ribbon candy industry. <laughs> Hillary Clinton stated that whoever wins Afghanistan's next election needs to build better relationships with the U.S., the Army, and the Afghan people, responded an Afghani official. Oh, really? Relationships? We're supposed to take relationship advice from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, oh and uh, her husband was the one who got the blow jay from the fat intern. <laughs> According to the Secretary of Education, U.S. schools need to be better equipped to teach math. The Secretary recommends filling all U.S. classrooms with Asian students. <laughs> Louisiana Justice of the Peace said he refused to issue a marriage license to an interracial couple because he believes children with parents of different races end up suffering. Added the Justice. I just don't believe that uh, it's impossible for a mixed race child to be accepted or become successful. What? <laughs> the president of the what nonsense? <laughs> Greatest golfer of all time, <laughs> Haley Berry, Lady Kravitz, Derek Jeter, Slash from Guns and Whatses, <laughs> The Rock. What? That's supposed to convince me? Oh well, can't change my mind. <laughs> Spurred by state mandates to encourage renewable power, more U.S. power plants are generating electricity by burning wood, said a power plant owner. Yes, we in the power industry are doing all we can to support and enhance the environment. So let's get out there and burn some trees. <laughs> Go green. A new study shows that before getting sick, almost half of the people hospitalized with swine flu were healthy without any pre-existing conditions. In response, insurance companies announced that they no longer are covering post-existing conditions. <laughs> On Wednesday, police in Alabama caught a father and son trying to burglarize a home after the son was found passed out drunk under the bed. Even so, the incident was officially the least redneck thing to happen Wednesday in Alabama. <laughs> And here now with the entertainment news is our own Cosmo Coenga. You're welcome! You're welcome! You're welcome! Hey, what's up? Hey. In a recent interview, director Fair in a recent interview, director Francis Ford Coppola said that the cinema is losing the public's interest. Coppola even pinpointed the exact moment, the release of Godfather 3. <laughs> John Goslin of John and Kate Plus Eight is consulting a rabbi as he considers converting to Judaism. Responded the rabbi. I was hoping someone knew the Hebrew word for douchebag. <laughs> because we're going to be saying it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis Presley box set will be released in December. Originally, it was only supposed to be one CD, but it wound up getting really bloated. Ooh. And finally, on Wednesday, Roger Moore celebrated his 82nd birthday. Friends said Moore's party was okay, but not nearly as good as the one for Sean Connery. 
You're welcome.